Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question comes to us straight out of Modern, where it involves a couple of cards from a very fun, or unfun depending on your point of view, Modern deck. Let's get started. Amy animates Ink with Nexus, then equips Colossus Hammer to it. Does Ink with Nexus have flying or not? Alright, so in order to answer this question, let's take a look and note that there is two continuous effects going on. One of them, from Ink with Nexus, wants the Ink with Nexus to gain flying. The other one, from Colossus Hammer, wants it to lose flying. So, how can we tell which one wins? Well, of course, both of these are trying to do the same category of thing, so they apply in the same layer. After that, the tiebreaker is usually timestamps, but I want to talk about dependencies here first for a little bit. While it might look like there's a dependency between these two continuous effects, there is not. The reason is because, even though applying one of them first might make it look like it changes what the other one does, it's actually just changing how relevant that is. If you give something flying and then take flying away, it's true that the ability that takes flying away does more physical stuff, however, it doesn't change what that ability is trying to do. And from a gameplay perspective, there's no reason why loses flying couldn't apply before gains flying if that were how the timestamps were arranged. Accordingly, there is no dependency between these two continuous effects, and so we do indeed go based on timestamps. As presented in the original problem statement, the timestamps would be gains flying first and then loses it, so Ink with Nexus would not have flying in this situation. However, let's take a look at something Amy might do if she's pretty clever. Amy could activate Ink with Nexus's ability to animate it again. This would induce another gains flying continuous effect. This one would conveniently be timestamped later than the Colossus Hammer's loses flying effect. And so therefore, the Ink Myth Nexus would gain flying, and then lose flying, and then gain flying again, so it would end up with flying in this situation. The power and toughness buff of Colossus Hammer conveniently applies in a later power and toughness sublayer than the power and toughness setting from Ink Myth Nexus's ability, which means that no matter what the timestamps between those abilities are, the end result will always be the same. Ink Myth Nexus will start out getting its base power and toughness set as 1 1, and then afterwards it will get the power and toughness buff from Colossus Hammer. Amy's going to be able to attack for 11 flying infect damage for whoever is unlucky enough to be sitting across from her on the table. And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.